Victoria 1837 to 1901. Queen Victoria's reign, which spanned from 1837 to 1901, was one of the most transformative and enduring periods in British history. Born on May 24, 1819, Victoria ascended to the throne at the tender age of 18, making her one of the youngest monarchs to ever rule the United Kingdom. Her reign is often referred to as the Victorian era, a time characterized by sweeping changes in politics, society, culture, and technology. Queen Victoria's reign witnessed significant historical events, both within the United Kingdom and on the global stage. Her six-decade rule coincided with the height of the British Empire's power and expansion, making her the symbolic figurehead of an empire that spanned the globe. Furthermore, her personal life, including her marriage to Prince Albert, her role as a mother to nine children, and her extensive mourning after Albert's death, added depth and complexity to her public image. Queen Victoria's significance in British history cannot be overstated. She reigned for a remarkable 63 years, making her the longest reigning monarch in British history until Queen Elizabeth II surpassed her in 2015. This extended reign allowed her to exert an enduring influence over the nation and its development. Under her rule, Britain underwent a series of profound changes. The Victorian era saw the emergence of industrialization, urbanization, and technological advancements, which had a profound impact on the country's economic and social fabric. Additionally, her reign was marked by the expansion of the British Empire to its zenith, with colonies spanning continents and contributing to the rise of Britain as a global superpower. Queen Victoria, originally named Alexandrina Victoria, was born on May 24, 1819, at Kensington Palace in London. She was the daughter of Prince Edward, Duke of Kent, and Princess Victoria of saxe coburg salfeld Her birth marked a significant moment in British royal history because she was the granddaughter of King George III and the niece of King William IV. At the time of her birth, she was fifth in line to the British throne. Victoria's family background was marked by a complex web of European royal connections. Her father, the Duke of Kent, was the fourth son of King George III, and her mother, Princess Victoria of saxe coburg salfeld was from a German noble family. This mix of British and German heritage would later play a role in Victoria's choice of a husband and her own children's marriages to various European royal families. Victoria's upbringing was marked by strict guidance and education. She was initially raised at Kensington Palace under the watchful eye of her mother and her mother's trusted advisor, Sir John Conroy. Victoria received a thorough education that covered a wide range of subjects, including history, geography, languages, and music. She was fluent in several languages, including English, German, and French. Despite the sheltered environment of her early years, Victoria developed a strong sense of duty and a keen interest in politics. Her education also emphasized moral values and principles, which would later become prominent in her reign as queen. One of the most significant events in Queen Victoria's life occurred on June 20, 1837, when she ascended to the British throne. She became queen at the age of 18 following the death of her uncle, King William IV. Her accession marked the beginning of a new era in British history, the Victorian era. Victoria's youth and inexperience as a monarch were initially a source of concern for some, but she quickly proved herself to be a capable and determined ruler. Her reign would span an impressive 63 years, making her one of the most enduring and iconic monarchs in British history. Her early years as queen were characterized by her assertive approach to governance and her desire to be actively involved in the affairs of the nation. Victoria's ascension to the throne not only transformed her life but also had far-reaching implications for the United Kingdom and the British Empire. Her reign would see the country undergo profound changes in various aspects of society, politics, and culture, and her personal qualities would leave an indelible mark on the history of the British monarchy. One of the most significant and enduring aspects of Queen Victoria's personal life was her marriage to her cousin, Prince Albert of saxe coburg and Gotha. Victoria and Albert's union was a product of the complex web of European royal intermarriage, which was common during the 19th century. They were first cousins, and their marriage was arranged with both political and personal considerations in mind. Victoria and Albert married on February 10, 1840, 
in a grand ceremony held at the Chapel Royal in St. James's Palace. Their marriage was marked by genuine love and affection, which was not always common in royal unions of the time. Queen Victoria often referred to Albert as her dearest Albert and beloved Albert, and their relationship was characterized by deep emotional intimacy and partnership. Prince Albert played a significant role in Queen Victoria's life and reign. He was known for his progressive and innovative ideas, and he became a driving force behind many of the cultural and social changes that occurred during the Victorian era. He supported educational reform, the arts, and various philanthropic causes. Albert was also deeply interested in science and industry, and he played a key role in organizing the Great Exhibition of 1851, which showcased the advancements of the Industrial Revolution. Victoria and Albert's marriage was not only one of love but also one of family. They had nine children together, and their family life was a significant aspect of Queen Victoria's personal and public identity. The royal couple's children included Victoria, Princess Royal, 1840-1901, Albert Edward, later King Edward VII, 1841-1910, Princess Alice, 1843-1878, Prince Alfred, 1844-1900 Princess Helena, 1846-1923 Princess Louise, 1848-1939 Prince Arthur, 1850-1942 Prince Leopold, 1853-1884 Princess Beatrice, 1857-1944 Victoria and Albert were deeply involved in the upbringing and education of their children and they maintained a close-knit family despite the demands of their royal duties. The marriages of their children to various European royal houses earned Queen Victoria the title, Grandmother of Europe, as her descendants would occupy thrones across the continent. Prince Albert's influence on Queen Victoria's reign was profound. He served as her trusted advisor, confidant, and partner in both public and private matters. Albert had a keen interest in politics and played a behind-the-scenes role in shaping policy and advising the Queen on various matters. One of Albert's enduring legacies was his emphasis on the moral and ethical responsibilities of monarchy. He encouraged Victoria to take her role as a constitutional monarch seriously, focusing on her duty to her subjects. This sense of duty and moral responsibility would become a hallmark of Queen Victoria's reign and would shape the cultural and moral values of the Victorian era. Albert's contributions extended to the arts, sciences, and industry. His support for cultural endeavors, including the promotion of the arts and sciences, helped foster a climate of innovation and progress in 19th century Britain. His involvement in organizing the Great Exhibition of 1851 highlighted the achievements of the Industrial Revolution and showcased Britain's global influence. Prince Albert's untimely death in 1861, at the age of 42, had a profound impact on Queen Victoria. She entered a period of mourning that would last for many years and influence her reign and personal life in significant ways. Despite his early death, Albert's influence continued to shape the Victorian era making it one of the most dynamic and transformative periods in British history. The Victorian era, which encompassed the entirety of Queen Victoria's reign from 1837 to 1901, was a period of significant political, social, and cultural transformation in the United Kingdom. It was characterized by a unique set of circumstances that shaped the course of history. Political changes the era began during a time when Britain was transitioning from a largely agricultural and aristocratic society to an industrial and urban one. It saw the evolution of the British political system, with the monarchy's power gradually diminishing and a constitutional monarchy emerging. Parliament became increasingly powerful, and the Victorian era witnessed several key reforms, including the expansion of voting rights and the development of the modern parliamentary system. Social transformations. The Industrial Revolution, which had gained momentum in the late 18th century, reached its zenith during the Victorian era. Urbanization, technological advancements, and the growth of industry led to significant shifts in society. Cities expanded rapidly, and the working class grew while traditional agrarian lifestyles declined. This period also witnessed debates and reforms on social issues, such as child labor, workers' rights, and public health. The Great Exhibition of 1851, 
One of the most iconic events of the Victorian era was the Great Exhibition, which took place in London's Crystal Palace. Organized by Prince Albert, the exhibition showcased Britain's industrial and technological achievements. It drew exhibitors and visitors from around the world and symbolized the era's focus on progress, innovation, and international influence. The Crimean War, 1853 to 1856, this conflict between the British Empire, France, and the Ottoman Empire against Russia was a significant event during Victoria's reign. It was marked by innovations in medicine and nursing, most notably by Florence Nightingale, who revolutionized healthcare practices on the battlefield. The Indian Mutiny of 1857, also known as the Indian Rebellion or Sepoy Mutiny, this uprising against British rule in India had profound implications for the British Empire. It led to the dissolution of the British East India Company and the beginning of direct British rule in India under the British Crown. The Expansion of the British Empire Queen Victoria's reign saw the British Empire expand to its greatest territorial extent. Colonies were established in Africa, Asia, the Caribbean, and the Pacific, leading to Britain's emergence as a global superpower. This era is often associated with the concept of imperialism and the spread of British influence and culture worldwide. The Industrial Revolution and its impact The Industrial Revolution, which had begun in the late 18th century, continued to reshape British society during Victoria's reign. Technological advancements, including the steam engine, mechanized textile production, and the railway system, revolutionized manufacturing and transportation. This period saw a shift from agrarian economies to industrial ones, resulting in significant urbanization and changes in labor practices. The Victorian era was a time of contrasts. While it was marked by tremendous progress, innovation, and economic growth, it also saw significant social and political challenges, including issues related to labor rights, public health, and the condition of the working class. Queen Victoria's reign left an indelible mark on this period, as her personal values and sense of duty influenced the moral and cultural landscape of the time. The Victorian era continues to be remembered for its complex mix of social, political, and technological developments that shaped the modern world. Queen Victoria played a pivotal role as a constitutional monarch during her reign, and her reign marked a crucial period in the development of constitutional monarchy in the United Kingdom. As a constitutional monarch, her powers were largely ceremonial, and she ruled in accordance with the advice of her ministers and the British Parliament. Some key aspects of her role in this capacity include Royal Assent Queen Victoria had the formal power to give royal assent to bills passed by Parliament, turning them into law. However, by the 19th century, it had become a constitutional convention that royal assent was granted as a matter of course, in accordance with the wishes of Parliament. Advisor and Counselor while she could not make policy decisions independently, Queen Victoria played a crucial role in offering advice and opinions to her ministers. She held regular meetings with her prime ministers, which allowed her to stay informed about government affairs and express her views on various matters. Representing the nation, Queen Victoria served as a unifying symbol for the nation. Her reign was marked by a sense of stability and continuity which helped to maintain public support for the monarchy during a time of rapid change and political evolution. Queen Victoria's reign coincided with the development of mass media and the rise of print journalism. Her image was disseminated widely through newspapers, magazines, and other forms of media, which contributed to her iconic status. Some aspects of her popular image include Widowhood and Mourning Queen Victoria's image became closely associated with her mourning attire following the death of Prince Albert in 1861. She dressed in black and observed a state of mourning for the rest of her life, which had a significant impact on Victorian fashion and the way mourning was practiced in society. Family values. Queen Victoria's emphasis on family life and her numerous children contributed to an image of her as a devoted wife and mother. This portrayal resonated with the Victorian ideal of the domestic sphere and family values. Empire and Imperialism Queen Victoria's image was often linked to the British Empire. She was portrayed as the Empress of India after the Indian Mutiny, and her reign saw the height of British imperial power. This association with the Empire contributed to her image as a symbol of Britain's global influence. 
Queen Victoria's reign was marked by two significant jubilee celebrations, the Golden Jubilee in 1887 and the Diamond Jubilee in 1897. These events were not only a testament to her long and enduring reign but also moments of national and imperial celebration. The Golden Jubilee, 1887, in 1887, Queen Victoria celebrated her Golden Jubilee, marking 50 years on the throne. It was a grand celebration that included parades, fireworks, and public festivities across the United Kingdom and the British Empire. The event was an opportunity for the Queen to express her gratitude to her subjects and for the public to show their loyalty and affection for their monarch. The Diamond Jubilee, 1897, a decade later, Queen Victoria marked her Diamond Jubilee, marking an incredible 60 years on the throne. This event was even more elaborate than the Golden Jubilee, with celebrations held not only across the United Kingdom but also in various colonies and territories of the British Empire. It demonstrated the global reach and influence of the British Empire and the enduring significance of Queen Victoria as a symbol of unity and continuity. Queen Victoria's reign, which had spanned over six decades, came to an end with her passing on January 22, 1901. She died at the age of 81 at Osborne House on the Isle of Wight. Her death marked the end of an era and the conclusion of the Victorian era. The passing of Queen Victoria was met with deep mourning and sadness, both in the United Kingdom and around the world. It marked the end of a monarch who had come to symbolize an entire era of British and global history. Her death also meant the end of the longest reigning monarch in British history, a record that would remain unbroken until Queen Elizabeth II surpassed it in 2015. Queen Victoria's reign is often remembered as a time of significant change, progress, and challenges. Her steadfast commitment to her role as a constitutional monarch and her personal values helped guide the United Kingdom through a period of industrialization, imperial expansion, and social transformation. Her influence extended beyond her lifetime, shaping the values and institutions of the Victorian era and leaving a profound and enduring legacy on Britain and the world. In conclusion, Queen Victoria's remarkable reign, marked by her dedication to duty, her personal values, and her role as an iconic figurehead, remains a source of inspiration and historical significance. Her impact on the British monarchy, global politics, and cultural values continues to be felt today, making her reign a pivotal chapter in the annals of history. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.